Good morning from a very wet and cold Edinburgh. We're off to the airport this morning, just waiting for the Skylink here at the bus stop. So there's me, my ridiculously small bag. Uh, thanks Ryanair. We've got ahead of us four days, five cities and six flights. Let's go. So here we are at Edinburgh Airport at the start of four days, which will take us to Luxembourg, then to Berlin, Krakow, Vienna, Copenhagen and back to Edinburgh. Not much to see on this morning's flight except the clouds did clear a little bit over the Yorkshire Dales but that was about it. It wasn't long before normal service resumed and the beautiful Scottish weather followed us all the way into Luxembourg. Hi Luxembourg, oh, I'm going to go for a little walk. I didn't really have much time to do anything in Luxembourg so I've just come airside to wait for the Berlin flight. Again, there wasn't much to see out the window on this flight, but to be honest, I was still smiling about the price I paid for this trip. Each one of these flights cost no more than 12 to 15 pounds, and the secret to that was to use Skyscanner and to look at one-way fares instead of returns where you can pick up some real bargains. I wasn't flexible at all on my dates, I had to be back at work on Tuesday, so I had to be back Monday night at the very latest, but I was flexible on my destination, so I was able to plot my way around Europe really cheaply. As we descended into Berlin, the weather wasn't looking too great, but I was still feeling quite optimistic that it might clear up. I'd been keeping an eye on the forecast for Berlin for quite a while because I intended to do quite a lot of walking around the city. But as you'll see very soon, 
that wasn't to be. Here at Berlin Main Station, it's absolutely chucking it down outside, so I'm just going to stay in here for a while, have something to eat, have a look around, and then I think I'll be back to the airport. It's one o'clock in the morning and finally made it into my nap cab. I'm being quite quiet because there's people actually sleeping just right outside the door so I don't want to disturb people. And the timer's on so there's about four hours and 50 minutes left. I need to be out before six o'clock. I had an email from Ryanair saying we need to go through security and give it at least two hours. I'll be up nice and early tomorrow morning. I've got about four hours sleep and then we're off to Krakow. Good night. actually remember much of this flight at all. I slept for most of it, which is not great for reviewing flights on YouTube, but I still managed to get a little bit of footage on the way down to Krakow. Despite the rain in Germany and seeing pretty much nothing of Berlin, I really still like that place and it's somewhere I'll definitely come back to within the next year. Uh, the only thing I didn't like was the airport where the security was an absolute nightmare and it was good to just sit back and relax on this flight. Comes Ryanair fans. Thank you for flying Ryanair. Last 
care, over 90% of our flights arrived on time. We hope you enjoyed yours, and we look forward to welcoming you on board again soon. Ryanair, low fares, made simple. time I was here it was snowing but it certainly feels just as cold. Welcome to Krakow. Forgot actually, this is the first fight I'll be doing with Louder Motion, which might just be Ryanair in disguise, but we'll soon find out. Reporting is completed. didn't take long this evening to disappear into the clouds but we're heading south now with the promise of better weather in Vienna and then also a good forecast for Copenhagen when we head north as well. We've arrived in Vienna. It's definitely a walk for miles airport. We taxied for miles, now we're walking for miles. Here I am in Vienna, I managed to get myself a little pension for the night, just this tiny little single room, but it'll do the job. It's so tired.
Good morning from Vienna, Wolfgang. After a really great night in Vienna, I woke up rested and was able to scoot around the city for a few hours and see some of the sights and some nice weather. But it was also nice to be back on loud emotion for a daytime flight up to Copenhagen. And the bonus there was that we got some nice fluffy clouds on the way and for the first time on this trip we were able to see something from the aircraft. And it was nice to be heading up to Copenhagen, a city I've not been to for about 20 years, so it actually felt like we were going somewhere brand new, and that was quite exciting. <laughs> It is a great pleasure for us to offer you a cheap collection of 40-35 euro and 20 cents instead of 44 euro. The Lancôme will be in Berlin for more than 40 euro cheaper on this flight if you will only pay 52 euro and 18 cents. Just choose our Tokyo Bali code instead of... As we arrived in Copenhagen in Denmark, I could see Sweden off to the right hand side uh, out the window and I felt almost a little bit guilty that I hadn't added Sweden onto this trip as well because there was certainly time for it. But it was also nice after a tiring trip just to be able to spend a full 24 hours in Denmark and I'm, I'm glad I did it that way.
Welcome to Copenhagen ahead our schedule. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until we have reached our final parking position. As the day drew to a close in Copenhagen, it was time to head back to the airport. And that also meant the sun was going down on this crazy four day trip. It was so much fun, packed so much into that time as well. I can't believe it was only four days. But the main thing I can't believe is that it only cost about £130. That was for the flights, all my accommodation and all my spending money. Great memories and no regrets. It was a slow flight back with 170 miles an hour headwinds. tired. Thanks so much for watching. It was a crazy adventure. Only four days off and around about 80 quid I think it was, uh, which works out at about three pence a mile, which is incredible value for hopping around Europe. A massive thank you for watching and I'd really appreciate if you hit like or even subscribed for more adventures to come.